De Angel Agora, what happened here, amor? This is where the democracy was born. Day two of a Greece adventure. Right, today is going to be a big day. And now, breakfast with a view. Look at that. Look, it's so cool. It basically tells you how many seconds to wait. Uh, I like that. In the state we don't have this, you always wonder what's happened or if it's broken. Temple of Soups. All right, we're going to this archaeological stadium, which is right in front of Fokianos. F-O-K, Yanos. So we have the Olympic Stadium here, where all the marathons end, and they do a lot of Olympic sports. Are you sure that marathon ends here? Yeah, cool. but the rumor says. Well, first of all, I forgot my map. So we're going to this lake that is thermal water. It's gonna be the, the islands tomorrow. And today we're just gonna stay in Athens. Amazing. So we found this lake south of Athena. 20 minutes in car. Now the water they say it's hot, so we're gonna go experiment it. There's a lot of fish right now. Ready? You wanna see them? How are you feeling? Good. Are you good? <laughs> Cause I'm afraid of it. <laughs> Run away from there, man. No, they're, they're gone. It's only if you don't move. Wow, that's so scary! Yeah. I don't like those doctor fish. So it's all fun and games. Until you get close to the caves. And then... Uh, you really have to start swimming. Way deep over here. The water temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. Centimeter. I guess I'll make the conversion to Fahrenheit later. Okay, it's really cool. It's very cheesy. Ooh. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, so after hours of being at the lake, sleeping, eating, I think it's time to go. Let's go back to Athens. Tough decisions here. Gelato yeah. or gelato? Let's see. Let's like check the next one. Chocolate. Hello, do you have lemon? Here I go, limoncello. Thank you. Mm. This is good. On the big one. This is big. Oh, 
Oh, two, 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 it's fine, yeah. You, you are. It's not that I'm upset, that my, Look, that's not my right. eyebrows are very populated. So we're here at the bazaar, eating gelato. Okay, the store so far are very much between like a Western kind of like t-shirts and bands and like very standard American stuff. But then they have a lot of like antiques, right? Like a lot of like, I guess, Balkan stuff because and like Mediterranean, they have a lot of Turkish stuff, they have Greek, they have um, Italian. Oh yeah, Italian. We saw Russian dolls. Russian dolls. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of mix from here. So I'm not sure how much is authentic Greek versus just neighbors bringing stuff. So we're having Italian gelato now. We are having Italian gelato now. They really mess up the whole identity. Let's say they're getting cosmopolitan. <laughs> That's Greek, cosmopolitan. They're embracing their words, that's what it is. Obviously in the middle of the marker there has to be some historical thing. So this is Hadrian's library. So what's the story here? So this was erected by Emperor Hadrian. It follows the Roman form architecture style, Cornetian order. So we, oh Amor, we have seen all three order. The Doric Corinthian. order, Ionic order, the Corinthian. This is the latest version. This is the latest version. Oh. They made it all the way to the year 134 AD. They already know about the Jesus over here. They heard about the Jesus. Wow, look at these rocks. They've been here for thousands of years. Exciting. <laughs> what we have here is all of the street cats right here, or in Korean, Konyangi. Koyangi. Konyangi. Koyangi. Konyangi. So if you're a Korean, you can leave your comments and Konyangi. let's see how you think about his pronunciation. Konyangi. Please leave your comments here. Konyangi. We have again the renovated, non-renovated. Wow, well, nice. Non-renovated columns. Oh, I like it with that building behind. Acropolis? What does it mean, Acropolis? High city, city of the, of the high. But the rumor is that they did all the parties there. Ah, but we're on the other side, you see? Mm. Just so you were seeing, this is the little one. Yeah, this is Athens. This is Athens, Athena. Bueno, apparently this library was huge because had more space here. So behind us, we see what happens when Greece renovates. In here, we see what happens when Greece doesn't renovate. <laughs> this was called the Tetra Conch Church. We can see, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Look, there is a little bit of the original tiles there. But yeah, yeah, you see, this is what happens when you build something in the year 425. And then 1,500 years ago, people ruined your building. So much stuff. We just almost got kicked out of here because somebody was standing on the columns. <laughs> How do you feel about the protest today? Yep, that's what I thought. Hired streets, just full of restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. So pretty. They're basically the same, same kitchen. <laughs> no, they're not. But it's gonna be really hard to pick one. Okay, Amor, the ancient agora. What happened here, Amor? This is where the democracy was born. You will see and feel the power of people. Okay, so here is the ancient Athens. Number one, Acropolis. Everybody knows. Number two, Aeropagos. Okay, okay, this is boring. Let me give you another quick overview of this map. So number one is Acropolis where people pay a visit for a tribute to you know ask for their future fortune to their gods and goddesses, right? This is not where the human beings are living. This is Agora is where the normal human beings are living, drinking, yeah. fighting, talking, debating, where they have dis discovered all these ideas of the democracy and everything. What happens is people go there, ask for their fortune there, then they come down and there's a lot of fortune tellers here. 
on the way back home, right? Uh -huh. So then they, they kind of show the sign to this fortune teller and the fortune teller will tell them, oh, this means this and this is what will happen to you in the next five days. And then they're either happy or very sad and go here and drink their beer. Beer, oh, I don't know. Beer, right here, let's go. <laughs> Look, this is called the Palace of Giants. Oh, nice. Agrippa. Look at that background of the Acropolis from the back. Wow, Amor, the Agora was huge. Yeah, Agora is a whole plaza, town. Agora is a town, Amor, where people live. They have a market and everything. Wow. Oh, shops. Everything. really really need to get a piece of paper so I can like solve the Pythagoras theorem or you know a quadratic equation or something here I can, there's no way I'm gonna come to Greece and not do some mathematics obviously we don't have to get fancy or do integrals or derivatives because that didn't happen here we didn't have any of that we just need to do a quadratic equation or something this is literally a stuff we're talking about here well having a drink in front of the Agora because this is what you do with the Agora Bottles of wine, very cheap. We got three breads. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Jump. This is my jump. In Greece, still everything is outdoor city. No indoor city, but people don't care because the weather is perfect. You can sit here sitting in front of the bar. Yeah, people are just chilling here, local tourists. You know, it's a good, it's a good scene. Very local, good party, right? Good party. No, it feels like yeah, it's a little, it's a little gutter, but maybe know. you're the oldest person here, no? No, I just saw an other sheet. But it was close. I was worried with that coming for a second. I'm definitely not the youngest. After a very long day, very long night, we're gonna finish with a Giro because this is Greece. So we're gonna do it. However, however, I have to say that the choices were with between a pita bread and an Italian bread. So. Wow. No Greek bread there, yeah. I mean, I, I like that they appreciate like the different cultures and stuff, but you know, what is my Greek bread? This is huge. Like literally, this is bigger than my stomach right now. What is this? A giro. Giro from where? From Greece. Greece. Athenas. Wow. Look they at have this. Potato chips here. Typical. Is it potatoes? Uh. Why is this gigantic thing? There is no way I can eat it. Like it have, this is bigger than my entire stomach. Do you have a spicy sauce? No sauce. In Greece, no sauce. No spicy. Oh really? Okay, big difference. Big difference in Greece with the Arab nations. No spicy. I'm not Arab. I'm Colombian, but you know, I'm used to it. Okay, here we go. It's very warm. It's tasty. Very seasoned. You can feel a lot of seasoning in it. Here the French fries are a little weird. Like I'm not used to it. There's a sausage? Solid, sausage, sausage. I don't know, I think it's something between this, just like the mayo, the seasoning, tomato, that you get there, that's very... So if you want a more dynamic reaction of Luis Alejandro Vega, check this uh, video of the Jeju pork belly. Yeah, this is not painful. When I ate the pork belly in Jeju, the, 
I told you, that was painful. It burned. This is just tasty. Tomorrow, we're going to Idra. We're taking a ferry and finally making it to the island because the protests are gone. So watch the next video. It's going to be really fun in the island of Idra. Yeah.